What started as a special meeting called to reinstate the Varnell police chief after suspension ended with the dissolution of the entire police department. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Calvin Sneed. News Channel Line's Alana LaFleur shows us what's next for law enforcement in the small city. The Whitfield County Sheriff's Office is going to provide law enforcement for Varnell. They already covered the district before the vote today, but some say the decision to get rid of the police department raises more questions than answers. Varnell City Council members went back and forth Monday about a motion to dissolve its police department. One council member and the mayor, who doesn't get a vote, spoke out against the dissolution. But Councilman Jan Porqua, who presented the motion, says it needed to be done. With Varnell's residents paying city and county taxes, he says they don't need a police department. We need to create the maximum bang for the buck for the taxpayer in Varnell. The way to do that is eliminate duplications we are now having in terms of law enforcement. Porqua says the decision was sparked by the way Chief Lyle Grant handled a situation with the former city council member last month, but says it wasn't personal. Grant was reinstated today, and then moments later, he and his officers were out of jobs. So there's just a lot of political grandstanding right there. Uh, somebody won't get their name out in public. There were only a couple of residents at the city council meeting. The only one who spoke out said he was appalled by the decision. I don't know how you can change money uh, to help somebody else and take away from the protection of the citizens. Uh, that, to me, should be the number one rule is to protect the people that live within your city. We took those concerns to Woodfield County Sheriff Scott Chitwood, who says he's ready to take on the responsibility. We answer all the major calls in Barnell right now. So again, yeah, we don't anticipate a major workload uh, addition whatsoever. While the Sheriff's Department is prepared for the decision, Varnell City Attorney says there are lots of questions he needs to answer, like what will happen to the former officers, the city court, and whether the public had proper notice. There is the issue of the adoption this morning uh, under the Georgia Open Records Law. The mayor has asked me to look at that uh, and determine whether or not the council properly took up this. The motion to get rid of the police department had two other parts to it. One was hiring someone who will set up programs for the youth and the elderly. The other was getting a deputy special for the Varnell area. That would have to happen through a contract with the county. Reporting for News Channel 9, Alana LaFleur. The population within the Varnell city limits accounts for roughly 1% of all of Whitfield County. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Whitfield County in a 2016 area estimated the population of 104,589 people. In Varnell, that number is 1,795.